Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making some good old country pork neck bones. All right, guys, this is a family favorite. I grew up eating them. My kids haven't eaten them much, but I grew up eating these. They were a staple in my house. All right, guys, let's get started. These are the neck bones that I'm going to be cooking today, and they are pork neck bones, y'all. Okay, it says it right there, so they're not beef neck bones. Okay, so what I did was I went to um, Walmart early last week. I bought these, put them in the freezer. When I got ready to cook them, I put them in the refrigerator last night and let them thaw out in there. Okay, so I have three packs, and you can see what they look like. three whole packs and look like it's some they still froze a little bit okay so what i'm gonna do is put me some gloves on and get ready to wash them and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the pot All right, I got all the neck bones in there. What I'm gonna do is stir up my water. Now I usually use just my white vinegar, but I'm out of it, so I'm gonna use my apple cider vinegar. Honey, this liquid gold, I don't waste this for nothing. But <laughs> I don't have any today, so I'll go ahead and pour. That's probably about a cup. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my salt in there. And I'm going to let this sit about 30 minutes. It's going to help to pull out some of the yuck and trash. So I'm going to turn that water back on. I'm going to let that sit in there for a good 30 minutes. It's already starting coming to the top.
it really wasn't a whole lot, but that's how much of the fat and the whatever looked disgusting to me. That's how much I took off. Put the neck bones into the pan. Okay, now we're gonna get our celery and our onion ready. This is probably about four stalks of celery. And y'all make sure y'all check out my video on TikTok and YouTube, YouTube, TikTok and YouTube, how to revive wilted celery. It's pretty cool. Celery in this is going to give it a really good flavor. I just love celery. I love the taste of it in meat, pork, and chicken. Okay, I'm going to put that over there to the side. I'm get me a measuring cup. There we go. All right, now we are going to chop our onion. This is one large onion. And we're just gonna give this a rough chop too. Just gonna cut it down the middle.
just a rough chop. Okay, now we're gonna go to the stove and add it to the pot. I'm going to add everything to the pot before I add my water, okay? So, the first thing I'm gonna do is add the celery. And that's about two cups, a little bit over. I'm gonna add my one large onion that I gave a rough chop. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put my fat back in there. I know I told you that my daughter introduced me to cooking these neck bones with fat back. It makes a difference. I know it's already pork. You would think they would already, already have a good pork flavor, but I'm gonna tell you, if you try it, for those of you who are still eating pork, hey, it makes a difference. And this is salted pork. And this is kind of thin pieces, so. That's about how much I'm gonna put in there. All right, now I'm gonna start adding my spices. This is crushed red pepper. We're gonna add just a half of a teaspoon because we don't want to blow anybody's head off. That's all we're gonna add. Granulated onion. Yep. You know what, that's so little, I'm just gonna Probably add about half of that. And the next time we use it, it's gonna be gone. Granulated garlic. One teaspoon. Black pepper, one teaspoon. Just make that half of a teaspoon. One teaspoon of basil. I know that might be a odd seasoning to put in your neck bones, but we're trying to give these neck bones a lot of flavor, okay? Now these last three spices, it's gonna have the salt in it. So we're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic salt. One teaspoon of Laurie's seasoning salt. And the last seasoning is the Slap Your Mama. One teaspoon of this. Now, that seemed like a lot of spices, but you know what? We're gonna have to flavor these neck bones, okay? And only the last three had salt. All right, then we're gonna add some bay leaves. This right here, any brand will do, okay? Any brand will do. And then before we get ready to make the gravy on it or a thickener, if we need to, we just have to fish them out. Okay. Now we're gonna add just enough water to cover. All right, this is the first four cups full. This will be eight cups. Okay, we're gonna stop right there and just let it come to a boil before we add any more. We're gonna turn it up on high so that it can come to a boil quickly and then we can turn it down to a simmer and then that's how we're gonna let it cook. 
Are we gonna put the lid on? So I can trap every last bit of the heat. And I'll be back as soon as it starts to boil. I know y'all see how we boiling. It's pretty good. What I'm gonna do is add some more water. Get try to get my meat down in here good so that it's gonna be lovely. Okay, let's see. There we go. Very fragrant aroma. All right, we're gonna let that come to another boil and then we're gonna let it turn, then we're gonna turn it down a little bit so it can simmer, okay? Okay, now our pot is rocking and rolling again. And what we're gonna do is, we don't need to add any more water at this point because you can see without me even having to open it that it looks good. <laughs> Whoops, pan too far out. Okay, so you see that? Without me having to remove the lid, it's got a lot of water in it. Everything is bubbling real good. The smell that is coming from this pot smells good already, okay? So what we're gonna do is gradually take it down. We're gonna take it down to a seven first. It was on high. And my burners go from two all the way up to eight, then high. So we're gonna take it down to a seven and we're gonna come back and see if that's how we're gonna leave it. Probably gonna need to turn it down to at least six. All right now, y'all, I don't turn this thing down a couple more times. Right now it's on medium heat. And what we're gonna do is let it stay right here. And what we are gonna do is let it cook for two hours and then we're gonna come back, okay? We're not gonna look at this pot. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it when we walk by, but we're not gonna open it up, okay? Not unless we can see that it needs some water, okay? So we're gonna let this cook for two hours. It's on medium heat and we'll be back. All right, y'all, what we're gonna do is taste. Oh, we're not gonna taste, we're just gonna try them. See how much more they need to cook. Oh yeah, they're good and tender. Oh yes, they are good and tender. Okay. gonna do is let them boil all the way down I just wanted to let you guys see what we're looking like boiling pretty good they're actually done I'm just going to let them boil all the way down because I'm not gonna put a thickener on here I'm just gonna let them all boil all the way down to that good thick juice and then we're gonna serve them over some rice and we're gonna have some green beans with them so I'll be back as soon as we're done All right, my pork neck bones are done. I'm gonna turn them off. And I just want you to see how thick the, the, the broth or the pot liquor or the gravy is on these things. Okay, you don't have to make, put a thickener on it because they're already thick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get my spoon and show you just how thick that broth is. Look at that. So as it cooled down, it's gonna get a little thicker. Look at that. Look at that gravy. Well, I'll tell you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them boil, I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. And this is what they look like. Look at all that meat. Now I know neck bones are you know skinny and they don't have a whole lot of meat, but these actually had a good bit of meat on them. I'm gonna be sucking on these bones as soon as they cool down a little bit. And um I might let the girls taste them on camera, but I'm gonna have to trick them and tell them that it's real. <laughs> okay, because
because if I tell them it's pork neck bones, they're not gonna wanna eat them. They're not even gonna wanna taste them. So what I'm gonna do is let them cool down, y'all. Then I'm gonna make a plate. And then I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> then I'm gonna trick the girls into tasting them. Okay, so uh, this right here, now the girls may like them, they may not. You know, you know how they are because you know how they do when they taste stuff for me. But Monty doesn't eat them. Um, my daughter doesn't eat pork anymore. My son Kiko doesn't, and I can't remember if Greg does or not. So I'm gonna take me and my coworker um, a plate for work tomorrow. It's Sunday, we're at work, so we're gonna have a good Sunday dinner, green beans, neck bones with some rice, all right? I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, so we are, look at that. We cooled down a lot, they're stopped. They've stopped boiling. And we're looking at the pot liquor. Oh my goodness. The juice, the gravy, whatever you want to call it. But we're getting ready to taste it now. And the girls are here, so they're going to taste it too. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, we're going to pray. Excuse my appearance because I've worked today. And I'm trying to get this video finished. So we are going to say our grace and give it a taste. All right. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By our hands we shall be fed. Give us Lord daily bread. Amen. 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 Okay, Thank so y'all, give it a taste. Tell me what you think. Oh, the stuff. Hmm? What? <laughs> Sorry. Of the stuff? Yeah. Of the food. Of the stuff. Don't let it burn your mouth because it's still a little hot. No, it's not. Bust and bust. Bust and bust. Have a bite hot. Mm -hmm. I can get in the mail. What's it taste like? Mm, it's good. Roast. I'm Pork sure. roast? I'm not sure. It tastes good. It's pink. You better swallow it. It's not pink. That's because it's pork. Oh. You better swallow it. <laughs> mm. It's pink because it's pork. Oh my goodness. So what did I say how this was? Roast beef. I mean, pork roast. Pork roast. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what it really is. No. What? What? It's duck. It's not duck. You know what duck looks <laughs> what like. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Wait a minute, honey. It's food. It's pork. Uh huh. But this is pork neck bones. It. Hey, I wish you would spit that food out. It's pork. No. It's like ribs. It's just a part of the pig that it came from. It's like ribs. And you said it was good, so what's the problem? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is, it's, it's like ribs. Mom, Mom. <laughs> Are you crying, Lori? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. If you don't eat that food, I, I will choke you. Choke you. <laughs> exactly. Come play with me. Come play with me. You better not spit that food out, I can tell you that. Baba. You like the food. <laughs> You like the food. It's now not. It's not roadkill. Now it tastes different. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you never. know what goes in from turkeys from pigs to rope? Excuse me. You know what goes in from pigs to rope? Pig. Mm-hmm. What's that? Mm-hmm. Who magic? Oh. Do you know how much ham you eat? <laughs> Do you know how much ham you eat? Oh my goodness. It's not the neck though. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Wait. I'm a white and light to most of it. Do you like it or not? No. Yes, but it tastes different. <laughs> Do you like it or not, Layla? I like it, but what's that? Neat. That's a gristle. That's like, like the rib. Oh my god, no. You know when you're eating the rib? And you have this. This is, has the same pieces of meat on it that the ribs does. Okay. I don't. But I don't. this is a bony piece of pork. Turkey ribs. Mm. I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we eat ribs. Mama. No, we eat pork ribs. Yeah. That's for a pig. Pork, pork ribs are from a pig. Beef ribs are from no. the cow. Listen, mm. I, I, y'all making this video too long. It's a death bone. It's a death bone. Stop doing that. Eat it. Swallow it. You don't want any more? That's fine. Mm -mm. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. Do you like it, Lauren? Mm -mm. Mama said, Mama said, more for me. <laughs> more for me. Trust me. 
So you don't like it anymore what? now? Uh-uh. I can't believe y'all. I was it, eating it up, grubbing it up. It tastes good. You know what? But you know what? The mistake what I made is telling them what it was mm-hmm. before they finished eating it. I should have <laughs> waited until they finished eating it. That's what I should have done. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all tripping. I'm just a girl. I'm a bit stupid. You better swallow that out your mouth. You're not spitting it out. You're going to sit at this table until you swallow it. I wish I had a tiny machine. <laughs> I do too. Because I would have told you what it was. Okay, y'all. This is going to end this video. These girls are tripping. You know, I haven't done this in a while with them. It's, I think. it's like a pig. That... <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. And I think... I just made up for it. Okay, I have a lot of people asking me when you're gonna do some taste tests again with the kids. Oh. So you got it. You know, if you've been waiting on it, here you go. Yeah. All right, guys, yeah. this is the end of this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks and God bless. Mama. <laughs>